Who is stained? Who is stained? He's the businessman, I'm the space shot. I, <laughs> I can't remember anything. I'm a pain in the ass. I don't know what I am. <laughs> I was gonna let you answer that yourself. <laughs> You're a stoner. <laughs> the stoner. Yeah, there you go. Who knew such happy guys could make music this sad? But in their chart-topping third album, Break the Cycle, Stain feels your pain in the angst-filled tradition of bands from Pearl Jam to Korn. They're bringing back the rock in an accessible way. The album debuted at number one, selling over 700,000 copies in its first week. A pride called my family, called these guys. And I was like, wow, cool. I thought we had somebody else's numbers by accident. <laughs> Aaron Lewis grew up unhappy in Massachusetts, the product of divorced parents. His childhood experience of isolation, anger, and betrayal, all that good stuff, provides raw material for his anguished lyrics. He uses his lyrical content to express anger at things that have happened or things that he's seen. It's not just like, Oh, my daddy didn't buy me a pony. He's gone through some stuff, and he has reason enough to be an unhappy adult. After graduating high school and working a series of nowhere jobs, Lewis chose to focus on the biggest crapshoot of all, a career in music. I had pretty much done every non-skill job that I could. Soon, fate brought him together with two guys he could relate to, fellow musicians and drinking buddies, Mike Mushock and John Wasaki. I met Aaron at a Christmas party. In Trying to drink the keg dry. We were looking to start a band. I heard Aaron. I was like, I've been looking for a singer my whole life. It just kind of worked out. With bassist Johnny April the last to join, the band gigged constantly around New England, and in 97 released their debut album, Tormented. It proved a powerful emotional outlet for, guess who? The whole record was trying to depict somebody who was having a difficult time with their life, and they right. had this, yeah, and they, and they had right. this special place that they went. He's got a lot of internal aggression, and that's the way he lets it all out through his song. I can just get out what I feel. It's just a pure release. The band caught a big break when a friend recommended them for an opening spot for Limp Biscuit, But it nearly didn't happen, as Fred Durst, you know, Mr. Nookie himself, was scandalized by the band's graphic religious imagery and demanded they be removed from the bill. There was a knife and a Bible, upside down cross, with Mother Mary's legs spread open, bleeding from her crotch. It was the craziest, illest thing I've ever seen. Fred approached both of us with the CD and freaked out on us, threw the CD across the bar, tried to have us thrown off the bill. If these guys are like antichrist or some ill sh like that, then you know, I'm not down with that. We were fortunate enough to be able to play. Once Durst actually heard Stained play and witnessed the ecstatic reaction of the locals, he signed the group to his label, Flip Records. Dysfunction, Stain's first album on Flip, sold over a million copies as fans responded to the power and honesty of the music. Durst took the band along on the 1999 Family Values Tour, and on the tour's very last night, he proposed a duet with Lewis on one of Aaron's unfinished songs. Aaron, man, you gotta play that song outside, you know? And I'll sing it with you. Sure, all right. And he came out and sang it with me. It was a blessing. I'm on the outside. I'm looking at it just felt really good. It was like magic. I mean, his fingers were shaking. And I feel all this pain Stopped it down It's back again I put that out as a single on my Family Values record as a bonus track. When we got home, I mean, that's all was on the radio. Everybody was talking about Stained and that song. See the Lewis's piercing voice and poignant critique of family life are connecting with a vast number of people. It's melody he sings, and that going along with, with his lyrics, uh, it really touches people. The singer is troubled that some listeners may be taking his despondent lyrics a little too personally. 
it's really snowballed to the point where it's actually very uncomfortable for me. Kids coming up to them in tears, eyes just welling up saying, I can't tell you how much your music means to me. It almost feels like sometimes they're teetering on every word that I say, like the next thing that comes out of my mouth is going to be the answer to all their problems. And I don't have any answers for anybody. I'm just trying to get through it myself. Lewis's coping ability will be tested as the band's stature continues to increase. Stain will perform on the 2001 VMAs where they're up for best rock video and on their very own episode of Unplugged. And if Lewis is uncomfortable about being a spokesman for the young and rejected, at least he and Stain don't take being serious too seriously. We're not anybody special. Two years from now, people will be going, Stained? Who? Ooh.